Audrey becomes a, a um, spectator and that becomes a spectator. And so what forms is a UCL? Okay. And we have I'm not sure what to do. Okay. Well, if I change the volume, what also is going to change? The concentration changes. Yes. So I need to find what the final concentration of those ions are before I can plug into QSP. So how can I do that? This is it's, this is essentially a dilution problem. How do we M1, do that? M1. M1. M1, V1 is equal to M2V2. Mm -hmm. You added 50 milliliters of each to the mixture. So you should be able to get everything you need from that. Ooh, I see. Because you start out with 50, and that's when you know the concentration is when it's 50. Let me add my 50. Let me add my 50. Or to get the final volume. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Make me feel old when you call me, sir. So M2 is equal to... 5.0 times 10 to the negative 7 for both of them. Sorry. It can be for both of them, right? Yeah, yeah. AG is uh, negative 7. CL is negative 5. Okay. And so you now multiply them together, right? Yeah, now you find your QSP once you get the individual. And when you multiply these two together, you're going to get 2.5 times 10 to the negative 11. And the QSP is? 1.8 times 10 to the negative 10. 1.8 times 10 to the negative? 10. 10. So QSP is greater than QSP. No, it is actually less than. <laughs> okay, good. Negative 11 is less than negative 10. So, yes. Precipitate yeah. or no precipitate? No precipitate. You got it. So, I think you, you're doing pretty good on your solubility rules. You might need to go through and memorize uh, the metal or the, the rules for precipitation. As always, the main key is to practice, practice, practice. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.